Kim McCauley's 1956 Chevy Bel Air, it's stunning, it really is. This really sits in the retro mod styling, it's a beautiful build this, it really is, it's stunning. The whole car has been kept to its original look. If you follow through with the interior and the lines and just the way Kim's finished it, he's kept the original look going, but modernised it at the same time. If you check out the gauges and the dash and the trim in the interior, it all follows the original design as such with a triangle on the seats and, and the stainless bezels around the gauges but it's all got a modern twist to it to bring it up to like a, a new era as such it, it's beautiful it really is it sits really well it looks like it's the original car but it's certainly not Kim's attention to detail with the finishing is truly admirable everywhere you look inside and out the detail is crisp and polished and really thought out the colour matching and the theme with the new upholstery through to the grill bezels wrapping the dash with the polished aluminium and the gold ballyelum fully completes this new modern interior but keeps it traditional to its era of the 1950s. The new sports gauge is replicating old analogue era but with a modern twist as well. The upholstery itself reflects the original seat design with the Chevy triangle laid across the back but it's done with a modern twist with the stitching and the custom door cards tying it together again.
under that huge bonnet and flying back under the car is certainly stunning as well. The tricked up 350 Chevy engine looking fully at home with the extra chrome detailing, polished pulleys and MST ignition. Climbing under the back of the car to see the effort didn't stop there is awesome. It's, I love seeing that. The big factory diff painted in gloss black matching the springs in Roninke shows the extra effort that Kim put into it here. The petrol tank painted in silver highlights just how much effort's gone in. Kim's a car painter by trade, and you can fully see that he stamped his name on the build. Not only his either, but his daughter Charlotte's got her name stamped on there as well. The exterior paint layout pays tribute back to the original Chevy styling of the era. The white infill follows the stainless trim up and over the roof, just like the old days. I really love how this original design has not been lost in this restoration here. The new colours actually accentuate the design with a bold appearance, yet doing it in style with a classy look. It really is a beautiful resto mod this car. The upgraded wheelwood brakes, rotors and the calipers giving that muscle car appearance yet the rest of the car looking factory but extremely classy and modern at the same time. The extra sway bar underneath, fat rubber on the ground and them larger brakes certainly turns this into an awesome touring machine to match that Chevy engine. As a package this is really stunning and well completed. I can certainly see why Kim and his family love getting out and cruising in this thing, it's beautiful, it really is.